The Convair NC-131H Samaritan, better known as the Total In-Flight Simulator, was one of the most versatile experimental aircraft ever built. Its story began as a standard C-131B transport, but in the late 1960s, the United States Air Force selected it for extensive modification. Working with NASA, the Flight Dynamics Laboratory, and the Cornell Aeronautical Laboratory, later CALSPAN, engineers transformed the aircraft into a variable stability testbed capable of replicating the handling qualities of entirely different designs. The first major stage of modification produced the NC-131B control-configured vehicle. This version gained a second cockpit, a removable modular simulation station, and vertical fins on the wings that generated lateral forces to mimic crosswinds. Its original piston engines were replaced by turboprops, increasing reliability and power for demanding research missions. The N designation signified permanent structural and systems changes, reflecting the aircraft's role as a dedicated experimental platform. Computers on board the total in-flight simulator were optimized for rapid reprogramming, allowing engineers to adjust simulation parameters even during flight. This flexibility made the aircraft valuable for evaluating prototypes without the cost, time, or risk of building full-scale experimental airframes. The total in-flight simulator first flew in 1970. Its initial task was to help define the flying qualities of the one bomber. During the following decades, it contributed to numerous high-profile programs. It simulated and supported development of the Northrop Tacit Blue, the Space Shuttle, the B-2 Spirit, the YF-23, the Boeing C-17, the X-40, the Boeing SST, the McDonnell Douglas MD-12, and the Indonesian IPTN N-250. The aircraft was also used in the Martin Marietta Smart Weapons Program, where it replicated the behavior of an intelligent cruise missile. Beyond research, it served as a training platform for test pilots studying large aircraft handling during critical takeoff and landing phases. After nearly 40 years of continuous modernization and service, the Sol NC-131H retired in 2008. It was moved to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where it remains on display in the Air Park. Today, the total in-flight simulator stands as a unique artifact of aerospace innovation, an aircraft that influenced the handling and safety of many advanced designs without ever being one itself.